Hi, CJ Laria again with Investor.com. Uh, we have another property to show you today. It is a small uh, home built in the 20s. Uh, it's actually a duplex that boasts uh, almost 1,300 feet, four bedrooms and two baths. So you're looking at a two-in-one and a two-in-one behind. It's all attached and, um, well, come on inside. I'll show you. So we're in the very tiny kitchen up in the front unit and it's uh, plumb for gas. A very, very small kitchen and then there's a small eating area just off to the side here. Looking around, we have a pretty large living room area. It's somewhere around a 16 by 16, something like that. And as you can see with the hole in the wall, there are areas where vandals broke into this, both units, and they were after copper. So some of the copper plumbing has been taken out and the wiring as well. That's the bad news with this. Well, come on through and you'll see that uh, this is one of the small bedrooms. It was an old uh, fur floor and of course now it's going to just need carpet throughout. The water heater was stolen out of this side here. The water heater in the back unit also should be replaced, although it's there. Maybe that's why they didn't steal it. Uh, back through here there is a full bath and another bedroom behind me. Now this is the second, the back half here. Again it's a two-in-one and we're in the kitchen eating area. Uh, we have one large room here as well as a bedroom back in there. So a, roughly the same square footage. I think the front unit may be a little larger. Uh, it's plumb for gas. And like I said, th there's been vandalism in here. So look at redoing the plumbing and the wiring. The wiring, I can say for sure, the plumbing, they just got what was convenient, what was connected to the water heaters. Uh, I want to show you outside some significant features of this property. So our next door neighbor on the left, of course, is this church right here. So most of the time it's quiet. Now, the rest of the street here is in nice shape, actually. Uh, some mature trees. And this is part of the Sacramento housing redevelopment area here. Uh, so there's money that's being poured into this area. Another good feature is that we're just a block away, block or two away from the bus line. So you're really towards the heart of things here in this neighborhood. So this building's been added to and added to over the years. Again, being built back in, I believe it was 1928. Uh, for the most part, the windows have been replaced, though there are a couple of original double hungs here. As you can see, there are two gas meters and up front two electric meters, thus making it a legitimate uh, two-family rental. So now we're at the front of the house and you see the two electric meters. So we do have a legitimate duplex here. But as we pan down, you notice the exposed conduit here. They've all been stripped out. So all the wire from the service and we have to assume through the house is gone and is going to need to be redone. I would rather assume the worst than uh, to have some big surprises. Now as we back out here is a fairly nice little yard here and it is a fenced yard of course this awning should go right away the best news about this though I've told you all the bad news the good news is is that it is a duplex and an investor we're offering it at fifty thousand dollars complete uh, there'll be a couple of small closing costs and that's about it so fifty thousand dollars for a duplex Frankly, you could have as much as $20,000 in fix-up costs. However, the gross monthly income is going to be from $14 to $1,600. I can say that with confidence, probably on the higher end there. Uh, so um, we've, we've got a good little cash cow here and it uh, meets all of our investor criteria. This one should also go very quickly.